Sit back, viewer, and enjoy these first and exclusive images of the inside of India's new parliament that's all set to be inaugurated two days from now. That's the 28th of May. That's a Sunday. The Prime Minister, government, some opposition parties and others will be there for this grand opening ceremony. And this is a sneak peek inside India's new parliament. Beautiful, isn't it? New parliament building will have space for 1,272 members of parliament, a much larger number than the existing parliament house. The Rajya Sabha, which is what you see on your right, is based on the theme of a lotus, will have 384 seats. The Lok Sabha is expected to have 888 seats and its design is based on the theme of a peacock, India's national bird. The floors of the new building will have hand-knotted carpets from Badoi in Uttar Pradesh. Besides the two houses, the triangular building will have a constitution hall that will exhibit an original constitution and a digital form for people to read page by page. The images you see here are the first images of the inside of India's brand new parliament that's all set to be inaugurated. Remember that this will be the only portion of the building that will have no stories. The rest of the complex will have four floors. Each floor will have offices for ministers and committee rooms. The first floor will have a dining space for members of parliament, VVIPs and visitors. It will also have a central lounge. Besides being earthquake proof, the new building will be eco-friendly and consume significantly less power than comparable buildings of this size. The building will have the most modern security and surveillance systems. Dholpur and red stone from Rajasthan has been largely used in the construction of India's brand new parliament. Let's get a word in from India, uh, uh, India Today's Polami Saha, who's been tracking uh, all of the big unfolding developments in the run-up to this big day on Sunday. Polami, uh, first inside view. I mean, this is probably the most detailed view so far of what the inside of this new parliament looks like. You've been, uh, you know, a reporter who has reported from the old parliament extensively, Polami. How does it make you feel looking at these new images? Well, Shiv, definitely have to say that Lok Sabha looks much, much bigger than the Lok Sabha that I've reported from, from the press galleries when I've watched Prime Minister Modi on the one side of the aisle speaking while the speaker see the press gallery in the Lok Sabha is right above the speaker's podium. So you're virtually looking down on one side of the aisle are the treasury benches. You've seen, I've seen Prime Minister Modi speaking from there. I've seen Rahul Gandhi speaking from there. I've seen that moment up close when he went across the aisle and hugged Prime Minister Modi as well. But now when I look at this of course it is going to be a much bigger uh, you know space because it can seat about 888 uh, Lok Sabha members it can go up to 1272 if there is to be a joint session of parliament which usually happens at the start of the budget session which comes first of the year when the president addresses both houses a joint sitting of both houses of parliament what I'm looking at as I'm looking at those images right now on our screen Shiv I'm trying to find where the press gallery is actually at the moment and it's probably at the back probably not over the speaker's podium this time round. So you're going to look at the speaker, not po probably look down, um, you know, as you watch the proceedings uh, straight above the speaker's podium, because that is the access that we're getting first on the 28th of May. We will be able to go in as that inauguration takes place and be seated in the press gallery as we watch the proceedings, not the Sengol ceremony, that's not open to the media. But the ceremony that is to happen later when Prime Minister Modi, of course, uh, unveils the new parliament building. And this is huge. This is going to be modern. Um, we faced a lot of, you know, technical issues, uh, Shiv, for instance, inside parliament in terms mm. of sending out news, Wi-Fi connectivity. We are told by the Lok Sabha Secretariat that all of those woes that you've been complaining about are a thing of the past now. You will get modern technology. You will have access to computers. MPs will have yes. their own offices, something that they're looking forward to. Individual MPs can have their own offices. Ministers obviously have been seated in the past as well. They've had their offices, but very um, you know, small, narrow spaces. We believe that the minister's offices in this building are going to be much more bigger, spacious, and of course, laced with a lot of modern technology. Very, very interesting. Uh, these images uh, that we've gotten for our viewers here uh, providing a really beautiful sweeping look of the inside 
uh, of India's brand new parliament, which will be opened uh, uh, on the 28th of May. Two days from now is when the nation will have a full up-close look, but what we've brought you is an exclusive preview on the inside. Nobody else has these visuals of the inside of Parliament that have been shared only with India today, a drone's eye view of the outside and a full sweeping view of the inside of this brand new Lok Sabha, brand new Raj Sabha and this grand edifice that will be India's new seat for democracy. You've just heard Polomi Saha, one of the few reporters in the country who've reported from Parliament and will be inside the new Parliament on Sunday to bring you that amazing first-hand view.